Bernard Frost, um, former Davis Cup player, first started 1990, which is the first year that Barbados played as a nation, way back when. 1990? That was a year before I was born. Yeah, you, wow. weren't, you weren't even a thought back then. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Youngest memory right now uh, is playing Bernard Frost um, in a tournament. I was maybe about 11, 11 12, yeah. I, I, I think what most sports, and, and tennis is no different, really needs is, is they need ambassadors for the sport. Of course he, he beat me. He was on the Davis Cup team then, um, and I was, I guess, emerging as a, a youngster. Davis Cup to me is a lot more than, than just a tennis match that's, that's going on in March. You know, it signifies a lot of where Barbados has come you know, from when I was playing, I think, back in the 90s. And, early 2000s and stuff to where we are now um, you can use this as a gauge you know that you support Barbados get on the board supporting sports a lot more than they did before and, and these are the rewards that you get. Uh, Davis Cup is the only team event that we have in tennis for the men. So we, we managed to go from group four to, to group one um, within the last I don't know 10 years maybe. To win this group is going to take quite a bit of our work and um, we got to start off on the right foot by trying to win this tie against the Dominican Republic at home. Because uh, I don't, I believe the next tie will be away, and well, depending on how we do. And Group One, even though that is the best we've ever done, it is, it is still not where we want to end. We want to keep going, and we want to go to the World Group, which is the highest group, and we want to, we want to take a shot at winning the whole thing. As as far as I'm concerned, that's my goal, and I think we can, we can make it. I think a lot of it is to do with the strength of the team, really. Um, not putting on Apple and myself, but I think uh, having Darian and Hayden together really is is a big it's a big boost because you've got that strong number one, strong number two. I think historically we kind of had more of a even number one and two, not really a significant advantage. With with the relatively limited resources that we have had, um, which have been consistent the last couple of years, we've produced one world class player. Um, and one who, who, who was just on the outside Hayden and a couple of other very, very promising young adults now, Shannon and, and Russell. Um, so the way I look at it is, is, could you imagine if we had more resources available to them? Just, just how much more, how many more kids could be attracted? Well, every time I coach, every time I work with the kids, I don't mention step to becoming a top professional, etc. The first thing I want to look at is the development of Darren King, because Darren King is homegrown. Okay, he was grown by Sidney Lopez. He did it here. He developed here. He played his junior tennis here. He became one of the best juniors in the world, based here. So the first thing is the commitment for them to see what Darren is doing at the Cup, how important it is. In fact, Darren was recognized as the number two performer in the whole of the Davis Cup in the world. Federal was one, Darren King was number two. You know. Yeah, he was one of the only people who won all of his matches. Every match he played in. And the Farrell um, Federal won and Darren King too. So these are things that I can point at constantly. I'm doing it for my team, um, for my country, for my family. I, I represent a lot more than myself now. So that understanding and that appreciation um, brought a lot of drive and pride into my tennis and my, um, my representing Barbados and the Dave Scott team. Championship tennis, world class tennis for, for three days in a row. Come and support Barbados. March 6th, 7th, and 8th against the Dominican Republic. Right here. See you then. <laughs>